Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to another video. Today in front of me, you can see I have a couple little things here, uh, and it's a special one. I want to thank uh, Sharpens Best for uh, sending me all this stuff here. They sent me a few extra little goodies too, which I'm not going to share with you guys. But uh, I want to thank them, you know, really want to thank them for sending this out. So, what they, they, what they have is, you know, their own little knife sharpener here. Little compact knife sharpeners. They have a couple different sizes as well. There's like a little round circle one. Uh, there's this one. There's another one that is big and green. I'm guessing it's floatable as well. I mean, that's what it is. Uh, so they have some really nice products. And uh, I reached out to them. And they've been really nice, really nice company to deal with. So go check them out. I'll leave their uh, info down below to their website. Go check them out. They ship everywhere. Uh, very cheap and very nice people to deal with. So let's get into this here. Uh, so like I said, there isn't much I can really show you. So this is their one knife sharpener. Uh, you can see you got one edge right here for sharpening, this one right here for cutting, and it's the same on the other one. But one special with this one is there's a little thing on the side here, and right there is a fire starter. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit here. I hope you guys can see this. See? So it's a survival one. If you're out in the wilderness and uh, you know don't know why you have a knife sharpener with you, but if you need to you know sharpen a knife out there in the wilderness and you also need to start a fire, you can do that both. Uh, so they also sent me a nice little knife here. Uh, this one fits right inside your wallet. So actually, let me open this up here. So it just folds right out. And it's nice, that's actually very sharp already. Uh, I will take a little piece of paper and I'll try cutting all these. And uh, if they don't cut nice, we will sharpen them and we will try it again. And then the other one they sent me, and this is a really cool knife. Is that right there? And it feels sharp, but again, we will test that on some paper. And then I brought my own knife which is dull. You know, you can see it's not doing anything at all to my skin. Maybe even some white marks, but nothing. So let's uh, try these out. Uh, now I'm not a professional, professional knife sharpener, but I will try my best to get these sharp and test them out. Okay, so I got a little sheet of paper here. Let's uh, go through, I'm gonna move all this stuff aside here. Let's try the different knives and see how sharp they are. So let's start with, actually we'll start with my personal one here. So, as you can see, it catches, but it, you know, barely cuts. You know, it just sort of rips everything. So that one is really dull. Now this is the other one they sent me. You know, again, it's, I can make it go through if I move back and forth, but it's not cutting nicely. And then here's the other one. So just gonna fold this. So you guys should just fold that over, make it a little easier for the knife. Actually, I think that's more for when it's stored. I'm not quite sure. Oh, there we go. So when it's out, you can clip it over, right? And it gives you a nice little handle on it. So let's see how that one cuts. And again, not cutting at all. Actually, it does cut. Once it does catch, it will cut. But it's very, there we go. Yeah, there is a, a spot on there where it will catch, but it's still needs to be sharpened a little bit. So let's start, you know what? Let's start with that. Yeah, let's start with this one. Uh, so I've been watching their videos, learning how to, you use this, I really don't know still. So like I said, we'll try it out and see. You know, and we'll just uh
Now, I don't know if that's gotten any sharper or not. Uh, it's starting to catch a little bit. You can see right by the tip there, it's catching. So, I don't know if doing this is going to be any better. I'm trying to scratch my table here. Now, if I'm doing this wrong, if you guys have ever used these, uh, please let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, I like that. I'm not professional at this at all, but I'm trying. I mean, you can feel when it catches and when it doesn't. So, I mean, you can tell when you have good contact to it. Now I'm getting a lot of filings there. Like I said, it is coming along. Holy shoot. So you can already see how just that little bit of time and it's made it that much better. Now that can still be really sharp. Uh, so let's try this one here. I don't know how this blade will actually, it's kind of a, an awkward edge on it. So let's try that one. Holy, I mean, just that short amount of time. And they're not perfect yet, but just on how much sharper it added, and there is still an edge there where it's not perfectly grabbing, but it is starting. That is a good start, but that is a hard edge to try, uh, especially for a beginner. It's a very hard edge. Let's try the other one here. Now this one has nice little fingers, you know, holes there where you can grab it, you know. And I might have to use this edge. They don't use it in their videos very often, but there is quite a bit of grabbing to this one. I don't know if that's just the way, because it is blade the way it's curved, or if I'm doing something wrong. And just that short amount of time and how much better it actually is. They're truly amazing, really. Now, I don't know if I can get this blade any sharper. Um, let's just try opening that up there. Might make it a little bit easier. I'm going back to this one just because it's easier to roll. I can already see this blade getting really shiny. Right where the edge is there. I'm trying to find a... And like I said, it's just that short amount of time. If I really work at them, I could probably get them really, really sharp. So it took a few minutes off camera, probably only means like you see three to five minutes use this sharpener on this knife now i just showed you how it cut before and that was just you know going a couple times like this nothing major you know a few little times back and forth just to get it sharp enough you know to grab a piece of paper and just from that like i said that couple minutes 
your two now and just how much it just cuts now it is an old blade it is a mechanics blade so it has been through some rough times you know i can see there is some little nicks and everything on this blade but just in a couple minutes it's amazing on how fast you can turn any blade and yes i'm gonna say any blade you know i'm gonna say probably not on a steak knife that but you know you go check out their channel uh they even have a video on there and it's reached i'm gonna say i think about a half million views which is astonishing on sharpening uh, a butter knife to cut like this uh truly amazing how they work go check them out like i said link down below to their website uh, and you know what? Go support them, guys. Amazing sharpeners. Turn any of your knives that you have at home that are dull, you don't want to use them anymore because of that. Uh, and make sure you get them sharp with this blade. That will not, you know, it will not break apart. It will not, you know, wear out if used properly. Uh, and don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure the carbite, and I think, they, I think that is right. They're carbite, so they won't break. They're tough. They cut and make these blades sharp. And I'm not kidding, they are sharp. So, like I said, go check them out. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, please subscribe. If you want to see more of these, um, you know, give me a recommendation to a knife that you know, usually isn't that sharp. I know I'll even do something like what they have is go down to like to a dollar store or even like a cheap store, buy the cheapest knife I can buy, and I'll figure out how sharp I can get it. And say, you know, what? I'll even cut through cardboard with it. Uh, just to prove that I think these blades, and I know this one at one point, I had it sharp enough to even cut into cardboard, no issues at all. Uh, so I will do that if you guys want to see it. Let me know down below. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, please hit the like button if you guys like it. If you didn't, well, hit the uh, dislike button if you guys want. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video.